Hey everybody, I'm Daniel, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the John Donaher leg lock system. So this was the first uh, system that he put out on DVD, and he put this out at a time when the Donaher Death Squad was just killing everybody with leg locks, and nobody, even at the highest levels, knew really how to deal with uh, the systems that they had created, and nobody had a real good insight on the systems that they had. Um, so this was the first one he put out, but this was the second series that I got. Uh, I first got the Back Attack series, which I have a, um, a review on, and I'll leave the link in the description. And this is the second one. The reason I got these was just kind of a maxim that, that Glenn has, is if somebody is bigger and stronger than you and on top of you, then you do two attacks, basically. You can attack the back and attack the legs. So in do it, in attacking the back, uh, you get either get uh, the back, a position or a submission, typically, or when you attack the legs, you either get the leg or you cause off-balancing in order to get the person uh, to their back or get another submission or attack the back again. So um, that's the reason why I got this one second. And... Uh, just like all of the Enter the System videos uh, that I have, this is, this is a, an amazingly awesome video. It's, it's 10 hours long, just like all of his other videos. Uh, it starts with an introduction and kind of the thinking, uh, how you need to be thinking about uh, leg locks, um, why you should go after leg locks, uh, and then it goes through simple things like gripping. Uh, one of the things is uh, if you don't scoop grip, that's in this video and scoop gripping once you learn a good scoop grip on that leg it changes everything as far as whenever you're on the ground going for an off balance whenever you are uh, on top going for a guard pass and or a leg attack uh, the scoop grip changes a lot just that tiny little thing and the scoop grip is literally like 1 20th of this video not even that uh it is a very small part of this video and it's a total game changer basically so, Glenn is a huge leg lock guy, and so all of us that came up from underneath him considered ourselves leg lock guys. Uh, I was definitely a, am definitely a leg attacker, and have been ever since I met Glenn. Um, I always considered my leg lock game to be advanced. It is not even remotely close to advanced compared to what you see on this video. The system that is in this video is, I'm not going to say comprehensive, but I guarantee, I don't care who you are unless you are Dean Lister, you are not, you will learn something from this. I, I would say even Dean Lister would learn something from this video, and Dean's humble enough that he would say that he would learn something from this video. Uh, anyway, he goes through the mindset, he goes through some gripping, he goes through some drills, and then he kind of gets into it. And he doesn't start off from the 411 honey hole position, which is what pretty much everybody got this video for, is like to get their, their 411 position better. He starts off with just like a straight, uh, straight ashi, just like uh, an initial leg lock position. Uh, and then he goes from there and progresses into breaking mechanics and goes from breaking mechanics into, well, now we have transitions into the break. Uh, this is how to deal with a person that is resisting by rolling this way, this way. Here's how to change from different Ashigurami positions. Uh, he has a series of Ashigurami positions. Um, I will tell you that the number one position that changed my game from this actually wasn't the 411 position, even though my 411 was vastly improved from this the the position that I got the most out of was the reverse ashi position so this is a position that most people don't really play and since most people don't play it a lot of people don't really know how to defend it either so whenever I go into the reverse ashi he goes into the dilemma so dilemma means I have two problems right uh, and then he goes into trilemma quad lemma well the uh <laughs> the reverse ashi is like a sex lemma. You have uh, you have knee bar available. You have uh, toe hold available. You have uh, inside outside heel hooks available. You have uh, guard pass available. Um, you have uh, basically every every leg lock that you can think of as far as knee bar inside outside toe hold uh, guard pass 
all of them are available. And uh, I guess it's a quint lemma. That's five problems. Uh, but uh, man, it is, it, it's really just an amazing position. And once you start working it, and he goes through exactly how to break it down and how to work it. Um, once you start playing that position, man, I have had a ton of success with that just because other people aren't really familiar with it. Uh, so that was a, a really good point that I got. Um, the, so as it progresses, it, it gets more and more complex. So you start off with like grips and ideology and straight Ashi and stuff like that. And things start getting more and more and more complex as you would expect, uh, until it is, it's pretty, it gets pretty advanced. Uh, just like all of the John Donaher enter the system videos that I've seen, I can only absorb about 20 minutes of this at a time. Uh, 15 to 25 minutes is going to be it for almost every jiu-jitsu practitioner. Um, unless you are a genius and you have an amazing memory, uh, 15 to 20 minutes is all you can take in at one time. If you try to take in more than that, it's going to be very difficult. Even if you're not a leg locker, if you study these videos, it will show you, it, it not only shows how to get into the positions, it also shows the common problems of people getting out. So it actually shows you how to get out if a person's not doing the, the move exactly perfectly. So even if you're not really interested in being a leg lock guy, which I don't know why you wouldn't be a leg lock guy, but if you do decide that you don't want to be a leg lock guy, um, to get out of these positions, there is a ton of information here. So obviously, I highly recommend these. They are amazing. Uh, I love the way that John Donaher breaks everything down. Uh, he's pretty wordy, which I'm down totally down with. Uh, a lot of people uh, think that he's a little bit too wordy, whatever. Uh, no matter who you are, you will get something out of these videos. And I can say, if you are rolling regularly with somebody who doesn't know the system, if you're a purple belt and you learn this system, I guarantee you will tap out black belts. Uh, and that's a pretty pretty high guarantee. I'm not going to say you're going to tap them out every time. But if you don't know the system and once you start getting into the system and you do it correctly, it will tap people out. T tap people out that are better than you. Uh, anyway, highly recommend. Uh, I'll be doing more video reviews. I've, I'm a BJJ fanatics fanatic and i will be doing more video reviews on bjj fanatics reviews these are available on bjj fanatics um if it's me i'm waiting for like a 40 percent off sale because they have them several times a year uh, and there is so much information on each one of these videos that you know you watch 10 hours of this material it, it takes years to master all of the things that are in here anyway uh that's all i have for today have a good day, guys. Get off the rock, move on down. Work, work, work to go, make the call.